Shortly after touching down on the Ocean of Storms, a volcanic plain on the near side of the moon, China's state television showed pictures of yet another homegrown technological breakthrough in space. Chang'e Wu, or Long March 5, is on a historic mission to bring back rock and soil samples from the moon, the first such mission in more than 40 years. This movement is the first step. It steadily landed on the surface, very steady and very good, laying a very important foundation for the next steps. The lander has a number of instruments to make this happen, including a camera as well as scoop and drill capabilities. Next, there's the drilling and collecting of samples on the surface, unfolding the national flag and making preparations for taking off. If all goes to plan, two kilograms of rock and soil samples will be brought to Earth later this month, with hopes of learning more about the moon's origins, formation and volcanic activity. But first, another historic feat. An unmanned meeting and docking with the return craft in lunar orbit. 380,000 kilometers away from Earth. Although we've done the landing twice before this mission, the lander is heavier than the Jade Rabbit rover, so it's harder to control and requires more precision. That mission last year landed a rover on the dark side of the moon, which has never been done before. It's still roaming around, exploring the surface and sending back images like these. Billions of dollars are being poured into China's military-run space program, which has ambitious plans in store, including building a moon base in the coming years and a space station with a permanent crew. The mission is expected to wrap up when the spacecraft returns with its samples, likely to land in Inner Mongolia later this month. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.